And we are back. <clears throat> we got some exploration to do. Uh, I think before I do too much, I think I'm just going to go drop the... Oh, okay. Big brother came back, safe and sound. It's all thanks to you. Thank you, Mario. I think that's Green Toad. Yeah, you can kind of see him. Uh, I'm going to go drop off the... Uh... Oh, there's Luigi. Uh, I'm going to go drop off the Crystal Star so that we can uh, get into full exploration slash side content mode, which means changing to the Luigi costume. So I'm excited. Although I should check the badge place. I haven't checked there in a while either. Dude, <laughs> this dude sucks in the fucking randomizer. Everything he sells is awful. He has a couple of really good badges, uh, normally. And, uh, not today. Also, welcome to part, uh, 25. They, they said it couldn't be done. They said we wouldn't make it this far. And they, they were pretty, they had a pretty good shot. But we made it. Uh... Gomez, age 40, known for napping in the flowers in the West Side Park, was found eating flowers and giving a stern, given a stern warning by authorities. Asked for comment, Gomez stated, Well, I just really, really love flowers, and I was hanging out, and before I knew it, they were in my mouth. I'm so ashamed. Citizens of Rogueport responded with disbelief and grudging support for the strengthening of flower conservation efforts. Shop reporter, go! This time, we introduced the Twilight Shop. Watching the husband and his wife proprietors of this shop at work in a heartwarming... It's a heartwarming sight, but don't get on the hubby's bad side. Don't you go smiling at my wife, says the jovial... Jovially... Jovially jealous shopkeeper. I'm hers for life, and your fancy big city teeth are gonna change that. Well, who could doubt their eternal love? Surely not this reporter. I press the shopkeeper for further comment, but regret that his words are unprintable here. We did learn from the little misses that there will be a double point sale for all RDM readers. Just show her the screen in the next 15 minutes and double your points on any purchase. Cook it for rookies. All right, my little rookies, we're on to an intermediate level recipe today. The dish is a uh, healthy salad. All right, that's enough of that. <laughs> now we'll read on the salad, I guess. This is a long one. There's only so many of these, though. I think there's only like five or six. Uh, just slice up a turtle leaf and a horsetail. What the fuck is horsetail? Uh, and you're done. Great for dieters. Uh, thanks for all, but check back your mailbox for another exciting issue. Yes, there's at least two more. So I think they warn you uh, when the last one is about to be. Okay. Oh, let's check the bad shop while I'm here. Uh, not a ton has happened. It's 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 the next day. The next day. Um. From uh from last night's uh recording. I'm trying to trying to make a good uh good dent in the Paper Mario series. I think. I think part of the reason I was getting stressed out was that I kept doing like one or two videos from each series instead of just like marathoning one for a time and then kind of going that way. Oh, Slogo, one of my favorites. It's an awful, awful badge. Toughen up. Uh, just wanted to raise defense by two points for a turn. Wearing more copy or copies raise the effect in FP cost. Close call. Attack FX B. Head rattle. Okay. Not a set of good ones. Let's see the. Uh, Let's see what else you got. Could get another fire drive. That might be good to equip two of those. Um, Mega Rush is too hard to trigger, so not that one. Uh, flower, flower. I mean, these are fine, right? They're not. They're not bad. But I just don't. Oh, 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 oh my God. Okay, oh, it's happening. Oh, oh, okay, hold on. Oh, hold on. Oh my God. Okay, wait, hold on. I've got badges I don't want. All right, double dip P. Out of here. Don't want it. Don't need it. Uh, feeling fine. Immune to poison or dizziness. Uh, no, I don't. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. Oh, we'll definitely don't need attack FXB. <laughs> I promise you that. Maybe. Maybe is this it? Attack FXP. Hold on. I gotta try something. Is this the one I, it, that? It, no, it should be called C, right? Let me see. <laughs> Dude, no way. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's Bowser. It's Bowser getting hit. Arr, arr. <laughs> it's that's so stupid. You know what? I'm gonna leave that one on. We're not gonna sell that one. <laughs> I didn't. I don't know that that one is like normally in the game. I think there's only three normally, isn't there? It's the the yellow one, the blue one, and the the red one. I don't think I've seen the purple one before or the pink one before. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, flower saver P. 
Uh, that could be pretty good. We got the HP pluses, Happy Hearts, uh, Jump Man, Elm Last Stand. Um, lucky Day P when your foes, or when your allies attack, your foes miss more often. Uh, I'll get rid of this one. I don't think I'm gonna use that. I think I just saw Mega Rush P, which I also don't think I'm gonna use. Yeah, so Peril. I think Peril specifically is like one HP. So it's really hard to trigger. So I, don't, I just don't bother. Like you can equip it if you have extra badge uh, points, but you shouldn't have extra badge points. Is really what it comes down to. I have more I can sell, but I don't. I don't really need them right now. So I'm. Uh, I'm skipping that. I wonder where. Uh, I wonder where the W emblem was. Also, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know what the yellow one uh, sounds like. <laughs> so I am curious now. Also, I don't know that I know what the blue one sounds like. I'll, I'll just buy that one from here. Okay. Let's try a couple things out here. Let's see. Uh, well, I gotta... Hold on. <laughs> I gotta sort these. Uh, let's see. I hate that they automatically put them at the bottom. It makes sense, but it bothers me. Uh, so let's take this one off. What does this one sound like? It's like a mouse. Yeah, that one's unremarkable. <clears throat> That's like a real one. Uh, what does the yellow one sound like? I don't know what that is. It sounds like glass clinking. Okay. We learned that. Uh, also, I know normal. I know we're not done with the plot stuff yet, but I got to put this on. Hey, it's one of my favorite costumes. I think this looks really good in uh, in this game. We finally got the W emblem. Also, just just to show it, I'll do this later, but not now. If you put the L and the W emblem on, you get Waluigi's clothes. <laughs> That's such a good bit. I uh, I hope that in the remake they add more of those. Like they add even more costumes. That'd be super cool. Like give me some peach colors. Let's do pink Mario. Give me the uh, the Mario Maker colors. The like, uh, the, oh, that's right. Oh, what impeccable timing! Yes, this was destined. When I consulted my star charts, I saw a portentous sign for you, Mario. It went thusly: in the house of the dragon that flew through the air, beyond the reversible stair, near the empty black chest that cursed you, lies a, a clue to help your allies learn. No idea what it means, unfortunately, but I have no doubt of its importance as a sign for you and your friends. Figure this out, out this mystery. Come and tell me immediately. I thought he submitted this as a trouble, but I guess not. Uh, I lied about Hooktail last time we went to his castle. We have one more reason to go back to Hooktail's castle. We have to go one more time, uh, and it's to get. But it's it's worth it for sure because you get the uh, the thing that lets you power up your partners again. You can power each of your partners up twice. Uh, let me see here. Uh, I've got eighteen shine sprites, so we're in a good spot. Also. Now that we've seen all these cracked walls, we have a we have something for it. <clears throat> okay, well, don't make me look like an idiot, Bobbery. Come on. Hooray! Now we're gonna do something really stupid and risky here. So I hope you're you're ready. It's gonna be great. Oh my god, this is this the Chocola Cola guy? Did this take this from Superstar Saga? I don't know if Superstar Saga came up before this. I don't think it did. Uh, or does Superstar Saga take it from, like, is he from, like, original Paper Mario or, uh, Super Mario RPG? And then Superstar Saga powered him from that. Truly, I don't know. Hee <laughs> you've come quite a ways. This is Chet Rippo's <laughs> Chet Rippo, dude. Adjustment House. If you want to change your par abilities, your partner's ranks, then I can adjust those for the low, low price of 39 coins. So need some adjustment. Him? Me. So you can, uh... You can shift, you can basically increase one of your stats, so like I can increase my FP, my BP, or my HP, but it takes it from one of the other ones. So we're going to increase our BP, and take it from our HP. <laughs> I'll boost BP, but it'll decrease HP. Does that sound good? Yep, sounds great. Oh, I missed what he said there. hee <laughs> I didn't miss that one. Hmm. Nice. 
<laughs> I'm finished. So unless you need anything else, get out of here. So I'm permanently in a <laughs> I'm permanently in danger. <laughs> Which means I deal way more damage, and it also means Mario is panting constantly. That's like the number one reason I don't like doing this. Not because it's dangerous to have like no HP, but because Mario doesn't shut the fuck up when you do this. <laughs> if you're not in motion, Mario is panting. Uh, also, look at that. So now we open up a shortcut. All right, Dazzle, do you have anything I need? Because I have a lot of star pieces that I'm not using. Um. Not really. Like, I don't think there's anything here that I'd like truly want, so. We'll hold off. <clears throat> I don't know if there's anything else I can use the uh, the bomb power up with. I don't think so. It is good just to be able to come right over here, though. Also, what was in the, the item shop here? I already forgot. You're going to see me running around in circles with Mario a lot more just to avoid the, <laughs> the panting. Oh, that's right. He had like a really basic shop. Oh, an Ice Smash. I don't think I've ever seen Ice Smash. These are actually pretty cheap. Um, yeah, just to have it. Why not, dude? Why not? Let's, let's live a little. Uh, I'm trying to think of where else we can use Bobbery. Um, I, I know in Hooktail's Castle. Uh, I'm trying to remember where else, though. I think that... Oh, there's, there's one over here we can do. This is a sneaky one. So that treasure up there that we couldn't get for all this time, you can see a crack on the other side, or on this side. Obviously we can't get Bobbery up there. Oh no, I can't. I need the uh, the spring jump. Okay. Oh wait, hold on. I did forget there was a boat pad here. God, there's so much to do now. So much to see, so what's wrong? Um. Yeah, there's a lot of secret shit here. I don't remember what's over there. Can I, how do I get over there? How do I get in that pipe? Oh, I know how. You need the, uh, the spring jump. <laughs> yeah. Yep. That sounds right. <laughs> Dude, this game. Oh, randomizers are undefeated. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> I can't believe it. I just bought it. So yeah, you have to jump up on this side and you go all the way to the right. Or if you jump up on this side, you can blow uh, blow up in the wall. So that's what they want you to do. Um, so Spring Jump is the last ability that we need. Because uh, we have all the party members and we have uh, the hammer. Hammer! Um, so once we get uh, the Spring Jump, we can access anything. I still have to go back to Kiala Key and see if I missed anything. I assume I did. I don't I don't know all the secrets of that area. Oh yeah, so they started adding um Bowser enemies here instead of the the normal ones. Cuz uh, the game is getting or the the enemies are getting stronger. I think we fought these already in the glitz pit. But I don't remember. <laughs> 11 damage. There we go. Oh no, I guess we haven't fought them yet. I should fight the hammer bro up top too. Oh, they give a good amount of uh, XP too. That's a magic Koopa, you know, a Koopa wizard. Max HP is 7, attack is 4, and defense is 0. It'll throw a load of pain our way while using magic to help its buddies. What a creep. And when there's only one of them, it splits up, at, uh, splits up into multiple copies to mess with us. Stop this thing fast or we'll be in a world of hurt. Yeah, so we fought... It's like cousins, I guess. We fought the, what was it, white, green, and uh, red version. And that's a level up. You would think I would increase my HP. You'd be wrong. You'd be dead wrong. <laughs> We're playing Danger Mario. Alright, now that I have six more BP, I should look at my badges again. Okay. What can we equip here? Let's see. Could do Ice Smash. <laughs> um, let's let's start this again. Hold on. Oh, okay. So you can you can go ascending or descending. I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. Um, let's do uh, Quake Hammer again. That's a good AOE attack, and then we'll do uh, Fire Drive as well. We have one more. 
Let's find a, a cheap one. Last stand receives by half when he's in danger. That actually, that's not that bad anymore. Drop damage he receives by half because now that we're constantly in danger, this just basically gives me a permanent like have half to damage. So probably pretty essential for this kind of build. Oh, did he disappear? Oh no, okay. Oh, you like hammers, huh? You like hammers, punk? <laughs> How do you like mine? I do like their uh, their idle pose. They're just kind of like rocking back and forth on their feet. They're like me when I'm recording at my standing desk, which is right now. <laughs> just like, you know, just, just kind of shifting side to side. Not putting too much weight on my feet. Oh wait, I, I just realized. I already had these guys. Tamer bro, yeah, 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 we we fought them. They were in Glitzpet. I got you. I got you. Woo. Uh oh, nothing. Cause I got a defense boost. Okay, so they still give us a good amount of star points. If I can find a group of like four of them, a trade off might be really good here. Uh oh, actually, there's another thing we can do here. This unlocks uh, two shortcuts. So normally, you're not supposed to be able to do this yet. <laughs> uh, but, because we have... <laughs> I forgot about the Bowser sound effect. Because we have the Ultra Hammer, I can break this block way earlier than you're supposed to be able to. You're not supposed to be able to do that until the end of the next chapter. Uh, <laughs> I think you, you still need the Spin Jump, but you don't need the Spring Jump. Power up, defense down. Boost Mario's attack by one, but drop his defense by one. <laughs> you know? You know? I wouldn't hate it. I wouldn't hate it. That could that could be pretty pretty gross. Um Alright, so boop. And then So I know one of these leads to kill all key. I think the other one leads to right outside of uh uh Duplice's mansion. Let's see. It's been a while. Yeah, one of them I think leads directly to Kiel Key Island. Yeah, it's in the first area. So this is uh, this will be good for later. I mean, I guess it's not it's not that much of a time saver because like it's right here, but like the ship takes you right here, so it's not that interesting. Uh, but I guess you know it's something. Well, you know while we're here, <laughs> you just you know, uh, super shroom. And we'll buy another trade off. You never know. You never know. Actually, you know what? Let's go with one more. <laughs> they're so cheap, dude. I have to buy them. I wonder if they're that cheap because uh, the sell price of them is really low because they don't want you to like make a profit. So to kind of counter it, they make them really cheap. But then when you throw them in the the shop, they get like busted. Uh, okay. All right, back in the pipe. Yeah, I don't remember where this other one leads. Tell me it leads to Poshley Heights. Tell me I'm gonna skip uh, through the game. That would and don't crash the game when I do this. Oh no! Oh no, dude! Oh no! We're not supposed to be here yet, dude! No, 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 no! We're gonna break the timeline. We can't do it. We gotta go. We gotta go. I'm scared. I'm scared about doing that. I don't want to. <laughs> I shouldn't be there yet. I totally thought it was to uh, Duplice's mansion. I was wrong. Uh, have I been here before? I think I have, right? Oh, yeah. There was this, but we didn't have the power-up last time. Remember when I said I was going to go put the crystal star in there first? Yeah, I lied. I lied to you. I can't resist the allure of a good puzzle. Or of a, of a good chance to use my abilities that I couldn't to get to places I couldn't go before. Okay, you can just see my shoe. I know, this is a kind of a weird time to say this. I really like the design of like the Rogueport sewers. I've talked at length before about how I hate sewers in video games because they're always just like s such a shit place to go. Like, because you know, <laughs> pun intended. Whoa, I don't remember this. This is cool as hell. Whoa, <laughs> there's so many spinnies. What the fuck, dude? Uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't remember this at all. Um, I don't know if I can get that one in the middle without Spring Jump. Unless there's a hidden block there. There might be, but... I might just come back with Spring Jump, which would be a pain in the ass. Um, but what I was gonna say is, I really like the design of the Rogueport sewers, because they're like half sewers, half ruins. 
So they're not as like dingy and dark as normal sewers in uh, video games. <laughs> Fuck me, dude. <laughs> What's depth perception? Fuck you. Let's, uh, let's try Quake Hammer. That'll work. Oh, you can hear the Bowser cry. <laughs> Dude, what a great addition. <laughs> it's gonna make me laugh. I can't wait until I record another part and forget I have it equipped and then just immediately just like start giggling. Oh, I should try and do the, the swing now that I think about it. Because I can take them all out if I get the swing off. So that was... That was Quake Hammer. Fire Drive... Does it do all ground enemies? Let's try. Oh yeah, look at that. Fire Drive's pretty good. Maybe I should go buy another copy. Make that damage even higher. That could be a really good AoE to like, just like... Completely get... Throw enemies away. Shit. What's reaction time? Um, yeah, just do it again, I guess. We we'll use Quake Hammer because it's cheaper. <laughs> I'm only doing this just so they stop interrupting me. Hey, I got one. So yeah, this should just take them all out. Later, guys. Oh, I guess if I had, uh... If I had, like, bump attack or first strike, that would, uh... I could've just walked into him. <laughs> he didn't do any damage. Because my defense is too high and I hit electric. That's pretty funny. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Get the hang of it. Oh, I have a new, uh... I have a new attack I have to use, too. Alright, you are a star piece. Shine sprite. And... Fuck. Yeah, you need the spring jump for this one. I think... Do, have we fought this one before? This is the third version. I think they like to hang out in the Pit of 100 Trials. <laughs> I don't respect you! Alright, I don't want to kill it. Okay, good. I don't think I- oh, nope, I guess I had a- I had already titled on it. Nope, oh, I didn't have to hold back, and I did anyway. Okay. So yeah, there's three of these. There's the spiked one, there's the green one, and then there's the, uh, the pink one. I guess I should say the orange, the pink one, and the green one. But yeah, I think that's normally in the Pit of 100 Trials. That might be the only time you encounter it outside. Okay, so we're gonna need Yoshi for this part. This is weird. I don't remember this room. But, like, I know I've done this before. Oh, fuck. <laughs> this is actually a difficult puzzle. I don't think that item over there is worth it. I don't know what's normally there. But that doesn't seem... Oh, dude. <laughs> I swear. I have good reflexes. I promise. I was really bad with them today. There we go. Ooh. Multi-bounce. Oh, actually, fuck, dude. That was super worth it. Multi-bounce is really good. It's the, um... It's the one where you jump on everyone's head. I think Goombella learns that when you power her up. Alright, and away we go. <laughs> like Mario, just like saluting. Um, yeah, what else? Uh, I think I talked about this last night. Uh, truly, uh, can barely remember. But I barely remember what happened this morning. Like, I think I, I, I woke up. I went to work. And now I'm on my lunch break. <laughs> I think that's, that's what's happened so far today. But, um... I'm making progress in Final Fantasy VII. I made more last night, too, uh, after the video. I'm currently on Rufus, which is a really stupid name for a villain <laughs> that's supposed to be, like, really cool. He's supposed to be, like, a really cool guy, but his name is Rufus. Also, if your name is Rufus, listen. Okay? Listen. You can be very cool. Anyone who watches me, subscribes here, likes the video, you're already cool. You, you've already made it. But... <laughs> when I think cool names... I think, like, you know, like, kind of like, uh, I don't know, what, what do you call them? I was going to say hard names, but that's not really it. Like, intimidating names. So, like, you know, like, Axel. Like, uh, like, Bones. 
Like Nick. You know, those are really cool names. So just, I don't know. Could be me. If your name is Rufus, I'm genuinely, apolog <laughs> genuinely apologetic. I'm sorry. Uh, but I just can't stop thinking of the naked mole rat from Kim Possible. And I'm sure that's something you've had to deal with most of your life. Depending on when you were born, I guess. We got the blue one. I gotta use that. Oh, I guess I don't have to use the new attack. It's it's Sweet Feast, so we've already seen it. It's just the same ability, but just it restores more HP and FP. So, because, you know, Sweet Treat doesn't really hit anymore. Because it only restores, like, at most, like, 7 HP or FP, and we're pretty far behind beyond that. Or you're supposed to be, anyway. My max HP is 5, so, <laughs> you know... This is going to show us Poshley Heights. Honestly, I wonder if I could just sequence break and just like skip this section entirely. I don't want to because that's that's gameplay. There's some games where I wouldn't mind doing that. I don't want to do it here. I like this game too much. Yeah. Location of Crystal Star was recorded on your magical map. Come on, let's go talk to Professor Frankly. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Gotta love that Frankly theme. Great news, my friends! The next crystal star is in Poshley Heights. Wait a sec. You mean where all the rich and famous live, like movie stars and stuff? Yes, yes, and I'm fairly sure there's also a shrine to the stars called Poshley Sanctum. No fearsome monsters or dangerous dungeons either. It's just a tourist attraction. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, uh, a little help here. To get to Poshley Heights, we should... That's the best part! You ride the most famous train of all, the <laughs> Excess Express, which is a pun that was lost to me as a kid, but I think is very funny now. Yes, after a luxurious steam engine excursion, the next Crystal Star will be yours. Getting those crystal stars has been backbreaking work, but this time will be a cinch. I just, like, have you ever played a video game before, frankly? Do you know what you're saying right now? But I thought you had to be, like, rich or famous to get an ex uh, express ticket. I am super fucking Mario Mario, okay? What do you mean? I'm the most famous in the land. Everyone knows me. Hmm, that may be true. Perhaps you should ask Don Pianta for help with this, too. Oh, no. No, 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 Not that psychopath again. Dude, I'm happy to go back to Don Pianta. Oh, well. Or, oh, well. I guess we don't have much choice, huh? Come on, Mario. Let's go. Excellent. Then we're uh, then we're set. We may not have much time left, so you must hurry. I'll, uh, I'll gather all the information I can. You guys just handle your end of things. So Mario immediately just, like, pants after. Just like, oh, not again. I have to do more story stuff? Ugh. I gotta find a place that sells uh, life shrooms, because I don't think I'm... I don't have a good source of them, which has made this a little bit harder. Yeah, yeah, emergency shroom, I hear you. Tell that person, looking for a gal from Goom Goom. <laughs> I want you to meet and speak to someone for me. I'll tell you about it uh, at my house in Twilight Town. Their name is Eve and they live in Twilight Town. Get it? Like evening? Like Twilight? Do you get it? Do you understand? How do I get over here again? Oh, I think I know. I think I have to go back from behind, right? Oh, there's so much stuff to find now. I wonder if I should wait and just do this when I have the spring jump, but I, I can't. I just... my my The, like, broken thing in my brain won't let me do it until I get everything I possibly can. I wonder if it's going to be in this chest. Do you guys think it'll be worth it? Do you guys think it'll be cool? Do you think it'll be uh, super great? Piercing blow. I mean, you know, not terrible. I don't know that adding more of those helps, though. Because it, it kind of has a binary effect. Like, you use piercing blow and it goes through defenses. I don't know that adding more of those would do anything. Unless maybe it just, like, adds, like, a plus two to the damage or something. Who knows? You know what's crazy about those skulls in that bridge, by the way? Is that we have an established kind of uh, monster in this game called Dry Bones. That are like Koopa skulls. Those are not Koopa skulls. I don't know what kind of skulls they are. They don't have mustaches, so they can't be human skulls. Because every human in this game is a mustache, unless they're Peach. Uh, <laughs> so who knows? Um, all right. Where else can I go? What can I do? Oh, there's a. I don't know if I got this one. There's a hidden item in one of these things. That I don't know if I went and got it. Um, 
It would be over in this side of town. I, I should have been able to get it after Twilight Town, but I think I just like blanked on it and forgot. So let's go in here. I think it's this, right? No, hold on. Might be that. Oh no, I think this is right. Did I go in here? I don't remember. This is the dude who's writing the novel while his wife's off, like, banging some dude or something? I don't remember. So you can go here. Oh, uh, yeah. There's a little, like, back garden. A little backyard. And a star piece. There we go. There's another one you can do like that, too, though. I think you can, like, go into, like... Yeah, okay. I, I had it backwards. It, that This is what I was thinking of. I remember going inside of a... In, inside of a cabinet. I didn't realize that you were coming out from that other area. <clears throat> All right. Um, what else? I guess we'll check the lottery while I'm here. I'm sure I'll win this time. Please, sir. Even just one matching number? No? Okay. Dude, this number sucks. This lotto ticket number is awful. <laughs> oh, wait. We have another uh, bobbery thing. Forgot about this one. And shine sprite. Yep. It's just a, just a star piece. Okay, um, I'm gonna use my thinking cap here. I think we got everything we can get topside. So we have to go back to Petalburg, or we have to go back to Hookdale Castle again. Uh, go as far right as we can, um, and then uh, we'll go from there. Also, I don't really like saying as far right as we can. <laughs> I don't like that. Uh, HP drain. Okay, it's just all consumables again. No, no cool badges. Uh, actually, there's one more, or two more things we can do here, right? Or maybe just one. Um, there's, uh, there's that pad over here. Oh, we gotta talk to Luigi, too. Do I change into the Luigi costume and talk to Luigi? I think I have to. But, I also just want to relish the Wario costume while we can, so I don't think I will. So yeah, you go all the way around here. And there's a secret little, uh, hideout over here. I think someone eventually comes here. It might be part of a trouble. I don't remember. Also, that's normally a star piece, but it's not very well hidden. <laughs> Ultra Shroom. Okay. Lucky day. I mean, I've already got this. That's, that sucks. Is there a pan here? I don't think so. No. Okay. Alrighty. Yeah, I think someone goes back there eventually. I don't remember what the context is. Maybe they just like move there after a certain chapter or something. I could have sworn there was an NPC back there. Um, now I think we've got everything topside that we can. Probably. Alright, the bro. Let's hear your, your latest adventure. Well, I got another piece of that marvelous compass at Jazafraz Town this time. Bro, I'm telling you, I turned adventuring into an art form uh, on that little quest. Ooh, it is a pretty nutty, bro. Wanna hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. Okay, it's, er, hey, it sounds good to me. Which part of the story do you want to hear, bro? Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here it goes. As soon as we hit a Jazz of town, we were overcome by the glitz and the glamour. It's a very lively place, bro. Tons of daisies live there, and they're always smiling. <laughs> there it is. While I'm looking for the piece of compass, I met a hip daisy named Hazy. Hazy was a producer, and he was looking for actors to go on a stage with him. I told him we couldn't, as we were looking for the compass party, you know. But Hazy said we could win the, comp uh, the compass part in the upcoming drama slam. <laughs> He said the so-called Drama Llama Plague might in fact be one of the parts. Or plaque, not plague. Uh, well, as soon as we uh, had to give it a try, so we... Or, well, we just had to give it a try, so we rehearsed with the cast and hit on the stage. On a musical, what's called The Mystery of the Fottery Hat of Social Awareness. <laughs> yeah, dude. Sick. The script was great, but I got, a, I got really a hose, bro. My role, my part, <laughs> was grass. I played a grass by the side of the road. Grass, the bro. Grass. <laughs> I just sprawled out on the ground and had to be silent. Everybody but, but me had in lines. I don't care if it was if I was, I was wet and green. Who cast someone based on that? It was awful. <laughs> in the end, our musical was the talk of the town, and we won the drama slam. Uh, 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 I got the compass part I was after, but even that didn't make me very happy. The huge after party just bummed me out more, so I snuck out the back and door. But wow, outside was a tons of fans. My fans, fans of grass, they swarmed me. I just couldn't believe it. Imagine, cheering for grass. I was ecstatic, bro. <laughs> After that, I added the piece to the Marvelous Compass, which pointed to north. It pointed to the rapturous ruins in Grimble Forest. Then, the voice again. Oh, my cherished Princess Eclair, how you assume with me. I will be grass for you. <laughs> I will find you. I will reach you. I will stand by your side and be your Luigi. 
Wow, sorry about that, bro. Uh, so yeah, anyway, then I got the back of my boat. I came back to Rogueport, and here I am. Another leg of my adventure completed. Cool. Alright, dude. Alright, what do you have to say, Hazy? I'm Hazy. I must say, Luigi is a great actor. One of the finest I've seen. After this adventure, we're going on tour to appear on stages everywhere. I'm going to be known as the Red Miracle. And of course, Luigi will be grass. <laughs> Alright, thanks, man. Thanks for the update. <laughs> I like that one a lot. Because Luigi likes to embellish his stories, but I love that he just completely fucking breaks it. He just, he doesn't embellish it all. He's just like, dude, I was fucking grass, dude. <laughs> like, what? Which is great. There's, there's definitely a joke there they could have made about him. I think they kind of implied it with like, I would be grass for you, princess. I'm just like, there's, there's a step on me joke in there somewhere. I don't know what it is exactly, but it's there. Oh, you know what? While I'm here. I know I'm about to power up with this dude a bunch, like in a row. But I have, I have been lacking a little bit. Okay, so... We have 18, which means we can do six power-ups. So, if we did Vivian and Bobbery, that would leave us with four. So then we could do Goombella, Koops... Probably Bobbery again, and then it's either Vivian or Yoshi. So we need two more to be able to max out everyone I want to max out. So, we definitely want to do Goombella, because Goombella gets Rally Wink, which is really good. Because <clears throat> it lets Mario attack twice, and uh, basically forgoes her turn so that Mario can attack twice. Yoshi gets Stampede, which is pretty good. I don't remember when Vivian gets her AoE. I don't remember which what her next attack is. I think her final attack might be the AoE. Bobbery has a kick-ass AoE, so we definitely want to level up Bobbery. I don't remember what Koops gets either. Uh, it's been a while. I think Koops gets something good, but Koops also gets like a... I think he gets another defense bonus, maybe? Or he... Because his HP doesn't go up very much. I think it might go up to 25. Regardless, though, I definitely need to do Gumbella. Definitely Bobbery. And then we'll kind of figure out the rest. I do want to give them their first upgrades, though, so I think we'll do that. Shazibi! <laughs> so how many fortune tellers are in this, in this town? There's, I think, three or four down in the sewers, and this, this dude up top. Woo! Alright, and, uh, Bobbery. So, like, I could level up Flurry and, uh, and Ms. Mouse. I just know I'm not going to use them, and since I don't have enough Shine Sprites to cover everyone, it just makes more sense just to wait. I wish you could get, like, the power-up or, or the, the power-up for this thing somewhere else. Care to power-up more? No, I'm good for now. Alright, let's see. I think Bobbery gets the most possible, uh, uh, HP. I think he, he maxes out at 40. Hold fast. Damage enemies that directly attack Bobbery, okay? Fiery Jinx. Oh, Fiery Jinx was the one I was thinking of. So, uh, attack all foes with flames that set them on fire. Uh, so yeah, I don't think we need to power her up uh, immediately. Not bad. Okay. So we have to take the... Uh, the long way, quote unquote, to Hookdale Castle, just because like taking the teleport to Petalburg doesn't really matter here. All right, let's see. I think we'll probably do two parts of a uh, of in between uh, the episodes here, because there's a couple or there's a decent amount to cover. <laughs> I also don't remember which of the uh, the requests rewards you with a new parlor game. I don't know if we have three unlocked. I know we we have the first two unlocked, because I remember doing them. I don't remember if we have the third one yet. I don't know if we have the tube one. I think we do, right? And then I don't know if we have... I, I, we definitely don't have the boat one, but I don't know who unlocks the boat one. I wish they listed the reward next to their, uh, their trouble. That could be something they could do in the remake. I don't know if they will, but... That could be kind of cool. So I know I can use Yoshi to cross that gap, but honestly, it's just faster just to airplane over. It's literally faster than changing party members. Now coming back is a different story. Because I forget a lot. Another thing I would be ecstatic if they added to this game would be uh, uh, just like an item or an ability to just like immediately go back to Rogueport <laughs> instead of uh, having to go the long way. I know the game's not that big, so it's never like that long of a walk, but it can be annoying. Bam, bam, bam. 
Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Yoshi actually wouldn't be so bad here, because I could breeze right past these guys, but I'm already committed. We're just running straight to the end. Speaking of committed, uh, I love my girlfriend. She's great. Uh, <laughs> secondly, speaking of uh, committed, I um, uh, so I have all of the Kingdom Hearts uh, Platinums uh, available. So I have Kingdom Hearts 1 Platinum on PS4 and PS3. I have uh, 1, I have 2 on PS3, PS4, Birth by Sleep on PS3, PS4. I have Kingdom Hearts 3 Platinum both in the... Uh, <laughs> I have Kingdom Hearts 3 Platinum in the English version and in the, uh, the Chinese version, which also has a different Platinum for some reason. Uh, I have... I think that's most of them. So I have Chain of Memories on PS3. I think the only Kingdom Hearts game I'm, I don't have platinumed is Chain of Memories on PS4. But Chain of Memories was such a miserable platinum on PS3 <laughs> that I like I really didn't want to do it again. But enough time has passed where I'm like, it's if it's the only one I'm missing, I kind of feel like I should go for it. But I, I remain undecided. So this is a hidden room. I got an up arrow. <laughs> So you need that. You can't get that until you get Bobbery. Uh, and they conveniently don't give you Bobbery as a party member until after you start Chapter 5. So, which I think is probably good. There's so many, like, things that Bobbery can just, like, blow open that I guess it makes sense to not really give them to you until, uh, until enough time has passed. So, but, uh, yeah. So we just gotta grab that and we just, you know, get out of here. Kind of a long walk. They they really keep going back to the Hooktail Well. There's so many quests that take you back to this fucking castle. I think far more than any other uh, area in this game. Uh, maybe Creepy Steeple kind of kind of gives it a run for its money, but it's just like <laughs> you have to come back here. So you come here the first time. You come back here a second time to do the hide and seek quest. You come back here a third time for Ms. Mouse's badge. You come back here. Uh, a fourth time to get that. I think that there might be something else that has you come back to Hooktail Castle too. I don't remember. But I'm just like, dude, stop going this well. I get that it's like the biggest dungeon in this game besides like the last dungeon, but for fuck's sake. <laughs> like, it's so long. And there's like no way to get around. So, we'll see. Man, I wonder if you can make that. I wonder if you can make it back up on that platform. I don't think you can. Also, just in case, let's do a thank you. All right. Um, what's next? I guess I go give it back and then I uh, finish leveling up everyone. What am I doing after that? I guess I should go to Twilight Town and do that quest. Maybe we're uh, more we're gonna be wrapped up sooner than I thought. Also, it would have made sense for me to go to that to the Twilight Town shop if I was gonna go back that way, but I kind of just forgot. And I should sell some items. Oh my god, every time. <laughs> I should uh, I should sell some items. Because I think uh, my inventory is close to full. I have every form of shrimp. Yeah, I've got one more spot. <laughs> I have so many health items I'm just never going to use. And it's mostly FP items, but like I feel like I manage my FP not badly. Like I, I feel like I rarely run out before like a level up or like uh, a place to heal appears. So uh, for that section right there, to miss that spiked Goomba, uh, it actually doesn't work if you don't uh, if you don't go up. So just keep that in mind. That's a that's a pro gamer strat for you. Uh, you're welcome to it. You can take that home with you. But yeah, I want to do this first because it is pretty important. Because the extra HP is is already pretty nice. The upgraded attack power, um, just in general, it's just really good stat boosts. Oh wait, hold on. Also, I love this bit. What's this? An up arrow. An up arrow. Up. Of course. And he just goes into the ceiling. This is the Ultra Stone, so that is what the star sign meant. I picked this up at a flea market years ago and forgot it was in the attic. With this, I can power up your partners even more. Uh, 
And he replaces his uh, crystal ball. We're, we're cooking now. Let me know when you want to uh, power up your allies even more. So now I can power, power up our allies a second time. So do Goombella first. Shazibi! Shazubi! I hate that Mario looks like exhausted here. I mean, I feel like he shouldn't be in danger mode because he, he was at full health, right? I mean, he, he I guess now it makes sense, but... I lowered your max health. You shouldn't, like, freak out. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Alright, Bobbery for sure. And I think I'm gonna do Koops, and I think I'm gonna do Yoshi. And we'll leave Vivian for, uh, for the next two chance wipes we get. And then, uh, if we have any extra, I'll go with Ms. Mouse, then we'll go with Flurry. Just to, just to do it. Bobbery with his 40 HP. Because he's an absolute fucking tank now. Uh, we'll go with Yoshi. I'm so glad I got a good color for Yoshi. <laughs> like, I think green is fine. I think, like I said, there are a couple of the colors that I've been okay with. I think I wouldn't have liked orange, and I wouldn't have liked pink. Maybe not pale blue either, because some of the hairstyles are really stupid, too. I wonder if they'll let you customize it in the remake, or if they'll stick to, like, the time aspect. Uh, alright, Koops. Coops, I do use you, use you occasionally, so we get to power you up. And I'll go over uh, all the moves they learn, too, just to see what they do. He looks so, uh, so confident. Then you may go. Yeah, he only goes to 25, but he has that uh, extra defense. All right, let's see. So we have Shell Slam. Strike all ground enemies, piercing their defenses. Oh, that's pretty good. I didn't know it uh, pierced defenses. Uh, Rally Wink. Wink at Mario to give him the courage for an extra attack. There we go. And then uh, Stampede. Call in a herd of Yoshis to attack all ground enemies. They're all ground-based. And then Bomb um, bomb bomb Bast. Attack all enemies with a massive blast. It costs 9 FP to use. That's pretty good. I like using it. Uh, actually, I'm gonna do Yoshi. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's so stupid that like you ride Yoshi like this. He's clearly too small to support Mario's weight. But uh, you know what? I think that's probably gonna be it for this part. I think it's a good stopping point. We'll go to Twilight Town next time and uh, check off that that quest. We'll check off the other one as well. And. Uh, yeah, I think that's uh, that's everything here. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching, and I'll uh, I'll see you in uh, part twenty six. Adios.